you all know I always try to keep it as straightforward and straight to the point as possible as I can here. I try to be as open about everything as I can. I try to talk freely about everything. And I'm going to cover this because ever since the Acolyte was, ever since it was announced that the Acolyte has been cancelled, it's not coming back. The loudest voices online have been throwing up a, 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 a hissy fit over it. And, I'm gonna, I, and in this video, I'm going to just basically bring down and cover exactly why this thing has been cancelled. And that's the, the long and short of it. But let's let's look at some of the of, of what is actually being said out there in regards to the really shill media sites and all of this stuff. You look at this article from Rolling Stone. Can the best of Star Wars survive the worst of its fans? Before Star Wars can have another successful show, some vocal parts of fandom have to reckon with what they really want out of the franchise. And there's this picture here of a man plus Tenberg and a man just two and all of that. You can feel free to read the article if you want. It's just a bunch of nonsense. I read I read it over. I really have no interest in that all. I just want to point out this what they have here. And when you go over to places like CBR, they have a bunch of articles on it. Eh? Like um this one the, the Acolyte review bombing continues with tie in merchandise. The Acolyte renewal petition picks up major traction days after launch. Well, Keanu Reeves was, was, was immediate, but he wasn't. The Acolyte's cancellation speaks to how troubled the Star Wars brand is. The Acolyte's cancellation explained. Um, you have um, Lee Jong-Ji, Kimura said that he was quite surprised that it got cancelled. And I mean, he have to say something. He got to say something. And I think he handled it very professionally, you know. He said what he did. He was probably the one person in the show that was trying the hardest and it just wasn't there at all. You understand me? Um, same man, he just seen two came out and he just put a heart on it and, and, and done. You understand me? Next one, I'll never forgive Disney. Hashtag save the acolyte trends after Star Wars series cancellation. Next one, Star Wars, the acolyte merge seemingly removed from Disney store. Um, Star Wars The Acolyte fans launch petition to save the Doom Disney Plus series. All these different things. And I, I, I did in a previous video. I talk, I went to for all of these, for these fans and them talking about all this different thing and bring back the Acolyte and bring back the Acolyte and all this stuff. But there was one, one post from a fan that I, I, want to, I want to cover because that kind of ties into what exactly I'll be covering in this video. And it's this one here. The, 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 the post reads, It wasn't about the numbers. They just showed how incredibly racist and sexist they actually are. And unless they do something immediately to rectify this mess, they're never getting any new Star Wars fans ever again. Hashtag save the acolyte. Hashtag renew the acolyte. Here's the bottom line of it, people. None of you showed up. That's it. None of you showed up to watch the acolyte. So coming out in here and saying it wasn't about the numbers. Yes, it was about the numbers. None of you showed up. You could come out and talk all you want about how it wasn't about the numbers and it's just about racist and sexist all you want. But you got a show made for you. This is what you all have always said you wanted. This is what you've been preaching for. All this. I mean, look at me wrong. I've been making shows for them for the last few years. They haven't been doing good. But let us focus on the acolyte here for a moment. This show gave you exactly what you wanted. You understand me? You put in as many different people of all kind of different all kind of different ethnicities as you want. You understand me? You had a female lead and a parent and apparently apparently you all act like people have a problem with that. You understand me? You had all the buzzwords in there. You went in there to, to ruin to ruin the Jedi and do everything possible. You got the show that you wanted and yet none of you showed up. None of you showed up to watch it. That is why the Acolyte got cancelled. You got exactly what you've been hammering for. And yet, none of you showed up to watch it. 
Now, what you're saying, it wasn't about the numbers. Let's take a look at the Rotten Tomatoes score for it. 18% audience score. You understand me? 78% from the critics. They don't really put much stuff in the critics because them just get paid to, 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 to make everything sound fantastic. But 18% audience score. It is about the numbers. The numbers show it was really bad. It was really, really bad. There were several episodes of the act that never made it into the, into the Nielsen ratings. They, uh, uh, or the Nielsen chats at all. It was really freaking bad. But you're out here doing this. All these different articles seem you are putting out here and all of this. You have Rolling Stone about can the best of Star Wars survive in the worst of its fans. You have this. This was put up a post here. Was it, it wasn't about the numbers. It just showed how incredibly racist and sexist they actually are. Unless it, but none of you showed up. That's the thing. None of you showed up to watch it. This is what you wanted. This is what you have been bawling and screaming and hollering. You want friend star was it none of you watched it none of you watched it i mean even if you want to talk about the the, the um hashtag ring gum change.org thing renew the afterlight it's over fifty thousand signatures you now next goal is seventy five thousand. Yes, and you have over 50 you have over 53 thousand signatures and not even half of these people who sign this actually watch the now show not even half of these people who signed this who signed this petition actually watched the show. I know, I know people are gonna say, but oh, but when they put out this change.org petition for the um uh, um for the Assassin's Creed shadows or okay, that is totally different. That 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 petition came from actual gamers in Japan who had a problem with them messing with their culture. This is for a show none of you watched. But you're out here signing petition, championing the court for what? For them to bring it back so you don't watch it again? It's a business. They spent $180 million, most likely more, on the acolyte, and yet none of you showed up to watch it. None of you. You have over 53,000 signatures here, and none of, and not even half of these people who signed this actually watch the acolyte. What kind of business is that? But you're out here shouting about racist and sexist and all this nonsense. Not one person in any of these posts that I, that I have covered, none of them have ever actually talked about why the acolyte should be should be um should be renewed. None of them none of them have actually come out and say the story was so good and so gripping and so interesting. The lightsaber battles were, were, were really nice. The way that they tied into the law and explored certain things and all this other stuff was really interesting. None of them said that. You know why? Because none of that actually happened in it. The majority of people screaming about this never watched it. But this is the problem when it comes to this. That, you see, you get anything, yeah? A while back, I, I saw this article. Um, some somebody had put up. I can't. Remember, I can't remember. But I somebody had put up where you have this. You had this. Um, you had this. You had this young lady who had over a million subscribers. Right, every post that she put out online got hundreds of thousands of views and likes and all of this retweet and all, all of this stuff. And then she decided to start an online business. And after a few months, it was I think it was like after six months or so not a single sale she got not a single sale she got people liking her posts and all kinds of she put up she put up she have this for sale and that thing but not a single sale you know why because likes and retweets are not sales the same way likes and retweets are not views this is what disney has to understand these people are the worst kind of audience to cater to because they support Nothing. Absolutely nothing. How long have I been saying that these people will, will, will scream and bawl how they want something, but they have no money to spend on anything. And even if they do have money, they're not going to actually go and spend it on anything because they are nothing more than keyboard warriors. That's it. They are told to like and support something, so they jump on that. How many of them 
actually want to go out there and support like I don't know. Disney Plus is losing subscribers. Disney Plus has lost over three billion dollars. People are actively turning away. But it's the same people talking about renew the acolyte. You never watched it. You got exactly what you wanted. You understand? You got exactly what you wanted. This was made for you. The same thing you all love to go and talk about. How you want to see yourself and all kind of thing. You could see yourselves here. And yet none of you showed up to watch it. That's why the acolyte was cancelled. None of you showed up to watch it. You have... This petition here with over 53,000 signatures, and not even half these people actually watch the show. That's the absolute ludicrous of it. But you have articles out there like, can the best of Star Wars survive the worst of its fans? Because the fans that you should be catering for are the people who actually love the franchise. But no, these people are out here. And the same, these, are, these are the same people who love to call everybody toxic fans. This whole toxic fan don't think hasn't even been around for 10 years now, but they call everybody who likes something toxic. And yet these are the same people sending freaking death threats because the acolyte has gotten cancelled. I have been called toxic by, 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 by many people because I speak out about things. I have never said any death threat to anybody. I will never, that kind of, that kind of crazy is not something I would ever support. I have an opinion about something. I speak about it. That is it. You, you, if you agree with me, don't agree with me. I don't have a problem with that. But you're out there sending death threats, screaming about racism and sexism, and renew the act. Yet none of you showed up. None of you showed up to watch it. Had you all actually watched it, you understand me? Had it? I mean, you all love to. You all love to preach and and, and prattle on about. How there's so many of you all, the, the many millions and billions of you all and all this stuff. If you all had gone and watched the acolyte, we would never be having this conversation now. They would have renewed it for a second season one time and they'd be happy to go. But you never showed up. You're perfectly happy for Disney to lose money, for the company to go down, for the company to burn. I, don't, I, I actually don't have a problem with that, but I'm just saying. You are happy for that to happen as long as you can push your agenda. You never showed up. You do not care about the acolyte. Don't pretend like you do. You don't care about the acolyte. You don't care about Star Wars. You're not a fan of anything. You just want to jump on board, be a keyboard warrior, and make a fool of yourself. That's it. Again, had they come out in their, in their hundreds of millions and, and watch and I'll watch the acolyte. This will, we will never be having this conversation now. It would be a completely moot point that you could move from a rule. No, you want to blame YouTubers, blame this one, blame uh, uh, um, dude, bros, all that stuff, and the other. Why didn't you just watch it? But you never showed up. You got what you asked for. You got the acolyte, which was made for you, and yet you never showed up. It's the worst kind of people to cater to. They support nothing. Absolutely nothing. They don't care. They don't care. But this is what is, this is what they're out there doing, and I can like everybody else supposed to just somehow be surprised by this. This is it. This is why the acolyte was cancelled. None of you showed up to watch it. That's the that's the long and short of it, people. So you could have as many um change.org petitions as you want you never showed up to watch it why would they bring it back you clearly are not interested in it but this is what you're doing you're making fools of yourself and then when well, you want to blame everybody else if you had just showed up and watched it all of this would be a completely moot point but you didn't you got what you wanted and this is the result these are the worst kind of people to Cater to they support nothing. Likes and retweets are not views. And people keep getting this thing messed up in their mind. This is the result of it. So yeah, that's that's what I wanted to say here in regards to this because I, I think it needs to be said. The act right was cancelled because none of you showed up to watch it. All these people screaming about racism and sexism and all that kind of thing. This is why nobody takes you seriously anymore. It's not about racism and sexism, it's about the fact that you support nothing. That's it. You support 
nothing. Mm. You did not watch the acolyte. Mm. You did not watch mm. Doctor Who. Mm. You have all the things to say, but you aren't showing up for anything. This is it. You know your thoughts on this in the comments. If you have a different opinion, I'd love to hear it. If you like the video, should you hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell to be notified every time I put out a new video. And I shall see you all next time. Take care.